Here we're going to be going through an example of a non-monetary exchange of, of some property, plant, and equipment or some long-term assets here. And our example is going to be where a company is going to trade in an old machine for a new machine. And there's also going to be some cash exchanged on this, on this exchange here. So uh, first off, we would start off with our, our exchange rules here for non-monetary assets. And I'm not going to go through them all. You can use them as a reference because all I want to end up with here is our loss situation. In this example, we're going to have a loss and you're going to recognize the entire loss here. So the first thing you'd have to do here is you have to compute any gain or loss on the asset given up. And this is where you take the fair value of the asset less its book value here. And that would equal any gain or loss. And in our example, we're going to have a loss here. So let's go back and I look at our example here that we're going to be using here. So Corporation A purchased the new machine by trading in its old machine and paying the balance in cash here. And the following relates to this purchase here. So we're going to have a list price of our new machine here. And I'm not going to go, all we want to do is look at these uh, calculations here and look at our references here. I'm not going to go through all the numbers here. So we start out with a list price in this case, and then we're going to have a trade in allowance. That's the allowance that's given here for trading in the old machine. So that's what they're saying the old machine is worth on the trade in here. And then the difference here between our list price here and our trade in allowance gives us the cash payment that would be due here. That's the balance due in cash based on our trade in here. So then uh, the next one we have our cost of our old machine. That's what the old machine cost here originally. And then we would have our accumulated depreciation on the old machine. That's the accumulated depreciation to date here um, just prior to our exchange here. And then the market value of the old machine. This is what we have to establish. We have to determine a market value or the fair value of what this machine would be worth if it was actually sold on the um, let's say on the open market or what it's really worth here. So you can see there's a difference here between the market value here of 12000 and the trade-in allowance here. So this is what we have to deal with when we're going to be calculating any gains or losses here. So uh, let's go down and look at what we'd have to calculate here. So our book value, we first we look at our book value of our old machine here and then we're going to have a loss on this disposal here and then we're going to have to determine the cost of the new machine here. So starting with our book value of the old machine, all we do is I take our cost of our old machine here and subtract the accumulated depreciation of the old machine here to date. The difference gives us our book value here on the old machine. Okay, so now on the loss on the disposal here. Well, we have the fair value of the old machine. We have to know that. Remember, we determined that here. In this case, it was $12,000. So we had to determine the fair value or the market value here. And then the book value, well, we calculated that up above here. And the book value here had uh, was $16,000. So what we would do is we would be subtracting out to determine any gain or loss here. We, in this case, it's going to be a loss because uh, our fair value here is only $12,000 and our book value is 16. So you can see here the book is exceeding the fair value here by $4,000. So this would be a loss here on this disposal. This We'd be losing uh, this amount here if, when we trade in this machine here for the new one and we pay the diff that additional amount in cash. So so our total loss, we calculated that. Now we have to determine the cost of the new machine. In this case, we're going to look at it in terms of our list price of our new machine here. Let's just say it was 32000 less the trade-in allowance. Remember, we were given an allowance here of 18000 The difference here gives us the cash payment that was due here. We calculated that or looked at that up above here. And uh, let's just say that was $14,000 here. That's the ca extra cash that has to be paid here in this exchange. And then we would take the fair value of the old machine. Remember, we had to determine the fair value of the old. We did that. So uh, we were given that here. So let's say the cash of payment due plus the fair value of the old machine gives us our cost of our new machine. All right. Uh, and that was $26,000 here. Now, let's go and look at how we'd record that. So uh, again, we have to um, record our new machine here at the cost amount here. Uh, so we'd be debiting that for, for our new machine here for our journal entry. And that was the cost of the new machine here at $26,000. Then we have to remove the old machine off the books here. So we would be debiting our, getting rid of our accumulated depreciation on our old machine here. And then we have this loss on the disposal. Remember, we calculated that here. So our loss here was $4,000. So we'd be recognizing that on our income statement. 
debiting loss on the income statement. And then again, we'd have to remove the old machine at its cost here off our books here, and that would be credited for $24,000. And then one additional thing here, we have the cash paid here. That, that was that cash that was paid on the transaction, so we'd be reducing our cash account by $14,000. So I guess what we want to take a care away from this here is just to look here at how we calculate our book value and then on our loss on our disposal. And in this case, because we have this list price here in this trade-in allowance, uh, we use that here in determining our cost on our new machine. All right, so this just goes through an example here on how we compute an exchange, a non-monetary exchange here and how we'd be recording a loss here based on the um, data or the, uh, the information that we're given.